Welcome and thank you for tuning in. Today's session, we are going to focus even more on our muscle and mind connection. That means that we are going to be even more focused on feeling that burn in our muscle tissue. So we're not going to use any equipment at all besides the exercise math. I have divided the different exercises into three blocks. In each block, we have four exercises. We're going to work them one after each other and we're going to do four rounds. The three first exercises are strength focused exercise and the fourth and the final one in each block is a pulse focused exercise. So we're just going to work three strength and one pulse. So for that pulse exercise, you're just going to try to smash it and hit it hard and get that pulse elevated. The first block we are focusing in our upper body. We are then moving on to our second block, which are our lower body focused block. And then our third and final, we are going to connecting with our ab and core area even more. I will guide you, I will help you, and uh, we're just gonna do this together. We're gonna start out by a short warm up, so we are ready to hit it off and getting that connection going. So uh, let's go and uh, have a great time here. And uh, I have my timer set here for the 30 seconds work and the 10 seconds for the next exercise. So a shorter time frame, but we're gonna do the session here in each block for three, for, sorry, for four rounds instead of the three rounds. So let's go, let's hit it. Let's go for a short warm up. So we're starting out by doing a little bit of jogging on the spot. So loosening up your shoulders and your ankle joints and already by now start being focused on the breathing. So inhale and exhale. Opening up a little bit more, moving your arms forward and back to waking up your spine. So let's go into a standing position. Bring those arms in big white circles. And we are just moving from one side to the other one, still doing the circles. Read B, focused on your alignment. So chest is up and chin is in. So we're going to do a straight push from one side to the other one, bringing those legs into work. And we are going to go for four and three and two and stay put in the middle and turning and twisting, warming up the spine, easing off your shoulders, engaging your core muscle and just do that big of a turn. And we are bringing our arms forth and back. So opening up, back again. Getting up on our toes to easing off our ankle joints. Pushing up and back again. Let's go for four and three and two. And stepping into center, rolling all the way down. Moving upwards, bringing those arms back down again, pushing down, lifting up and back and reaching up and let's go for another two, bring it up, just getting a slight of a bit of a stretch in our hamstring muscle and get back up to center, moving right and left leg out, big nice circles so you're opening up in that hip joint your arms are just helping you getting into the balance and we are going to do the opposite direction moving that leg in the inner circle and let's go two more on each and loosening up just jogging jogging out on the spot and if you need a little bit more of a warm up, you just go ahead and put this one on a break and then you can come back if you need a little bit more warm up. So we are ready to go. I have my timer here for the 30 seconds work and the 10 seconds to get ready for the next exercise. In the rest period, I will, of course, as always, show you the next exercise so you're ready to go with me. So we're gonna do a triceps plank to begin with. You can either do that on your toes or on your knees. But if you're doing this on your knees, please make sure that you are pulling up your feet and your lower legs so you are not 
resting directly on your kneecap, but just right above. So we're gonna put hands down, squeezing and engaging our core muscle, moving up to a straight positioning, lowering down. So make sure that you have your hands in front of you and your elbows right underneath your shoulder joint instead of a push-up where you have your hands just uh, right under your shoulders. So I'm gonna put my timer on here, counting down from 10 getting ready for that position and do remember the focusing on feel the burn in your muscle so squeezing your ab area and we are pushing it off and down again only working for 30 seconds inhale as we go up and exhale as we go down you can help a little bit with your feet so pushing off with those feet and helping with your triceps using your arms and shoulders looking down all the way and engaging your core muscle squeezing lifting up yep we are going to go straight up to a push-up so hands underneath now where our elbows are hands underneath shoulders bring it down and up again and as we get up on that top of that push-up make sure you stay put squeeze a bit and lowering back down again and inhale and exhale and try to keep your lower back in the same position so no hyperextension and keep going for another three seconds bring it up turning around to do a triceps pump so hands are turning out a little bit and we are gonna go slightly bent and up again. So doing a flexion in your elbows and you are pushing up and down, inhaling and exhaling. Just feeling that squeeze and tightness in your triceps. So within 10 seconds, we are gonna get up back up to a standing position, doing a burpee for 30 seconds and 10 seconds to get up doing the burpee jumping up stepping out and back in so make sure you do all the all the way along here so up and bring out inhale and exhale only 30 seconds squeezing and inhale as you're jumping up out to that straight position slightly wide distance between your feet makes it easier to go up and down get into that plank back into round number two out of four but only working for 30 seconds push it up and bring it down again Feel the squeeze. Don't think about anything else than the squeeze in your arms. Engaging your core muscle, pushing up with your feet, or do this on your knees. Yep, into a push up, which of course you can do on your knees as well. Two seconds and let's go. So if this is too much, go down, but lift up your feet and push it up and away from here. And you can of course always combine the modification on your knees with the ordinary push up. 10 more seconds, slowly down, moving and Pushing up again. Yes. And turn around here for the triceps pump and the shoulders away from your ears. Fingers are pointing slightly out to the side. And we are doing the pump. So make sure that you are focusing in that muscle and mind connection. Elbows are pointing back and you should be able to feel it here in your triceps every single repetition. So this is for you. Don't think about what's gonna happen 
after you're done exercising, only focusing on what you're doing right now. Three, two, one. Yes, up for a burpee into that straight position. If you need a little easing off your shoulders, you can just do some jogging on the spot. Bring it up, inhaling and exhaling. Stepping up to that plank position. So we're not using, doing any push up in this burpee because we want to go up fast and down again, elevating our heart rate, kicking off that metabolism. That's it. Third and ah, uh, almost second round, but not completely. Triceps plank. Up we go, down again. Keep your buttocks down in the straight alignment, not pushing it up. Feel the squeeze on top. Slowly down. Ask yourself if you are engaging your core muscle. Of course you are. Yep. Push up, third round. And in the rest period, get your core work into place. Slowly down, pushing up. Great way of doing a body weight exercise where you're using shoulders, and arm muscle, chest muscle. Four seconds. Yes, we did it. And in for the triceps pump. You need to be a little bit up on your toes here to get ready for the only having 10 seconds. So flexion and extension in your elbows. So make sure you feel that pump every movement. Chin is in. Pumping up and down, even in both arms. Let's go, you can do it. Three, two, hang on here with me. Or for a burpee. Or do the jogging on the spot. Three, two, and one. faster because we only had 30 seconds and we only had one pulse exercise in our block. So lots of strength going on, kicking that muscle tissue, which is a lot more calorie consuming than fat tissue is. Yep. So ready for a Fourth and final round for the triceps plank. So what I meant just before is, if keep going, if you have a lot of muscle tissue in your body, then you have a lot of, a much better calorie burning machine. So hit it off, get that muscle tissue and pushing it off. Yep. Our fourth and final round for the push up, squeezing your ab muscle, and off we go. Keep going. So make sure that you feel it. We only have this round left, and then we're going to focus on our lower body. So feel that push, that burn. Don't focus on anything else that's squeezing every time you do a repetition. Feel the squeeze, I can't say it enough, because sometimes people just think about anything else than feeling the burn, and that's not the, the meaning. <sighs> Lifting and turning around. Always the good quality, but make sure that you feel it in the right places. Squeezing and 
let's go for a fourth and final triceps pump squeezing so you can do it like this not feeling a thing but you could oh so and of course i know that's what you're going to choose to feel the contraction in your muscle pumping up and down two and one let's get into that burpee before we have some water and a little break getting ready for a second block shoulders are down distance between feet inhaling reaching up and squeezing and going back out again let's go 10 more seconds Yep, time on a break and get some water. So be affected on your breathing. So you should be able to feel it in your triceps right now, feeling sort of like the blood circulation going on in your tissue so feel nice and tight we are moving on for a second block we are starting out by doing a lunges we are going to keep our right leg in front and left leg on the back hands are just cross chest and we are going to go down here and what we're going to look for is when we are getting up to a straight position again we are going to squeeze that back leg that glute of a back leg i'm going to show you with the other one left so moving up squeezing pumping back down again so make that push back with the hip extension for two pushing pushing just sort of like bending your knee and straightening out get out again and every time you're going to push it here when we are moving up here you're going to push that heel off so you can feel it in your front leg so that's what we're going to do for the first exercise and we are bringing that timer into play again so working for that 30 seconds but promise me and most important of all promise yourself that you can feel the connection in your lower body for every movement i know you're thinking yes yes and kristen i got the point but it's so important that i have to mention it so ready right leg at the back and we're gonna go down squeezing squeezing down again squeezing squeezing down with that knee pushing it off slowly down so every time we're getting up here on the top squeezing for two down again keeping that heel up on your back leg squeezing squeezing down up up feel the connection yes now we are moving on to a square position here hands and we are going to stay up here pushing off alternative leg when we do this we only have one seat of a centimeter lifted off one inch off the exercise mat and we're going to squeeze and this could be feeling easily if you're not connecting but every time you move that foot up you are squeezing your glute muscle and you can do this on your forearms instead looking down up we go down yes even amount and up to a standing position opposite leg in the back and we are going down pushing pushing slowly down make sure you're feeling every time Get that contraction going just a quick down here and up again squeezing keep your chest up high chin is in yes we are ready for a job squat 
and we're gonna put hands behind our head. So lifting up and down, chest is up, and we only have this single one out of the four exercises. Make sure you bring those toes up, lifting chest up. Not pushing on your head, but just holding on here to make that lower body and core area work even more. Yes. Turning around, right leg is in the back and we are going down, squeezing, squeezing. Pushing up with that front heel. Doing an extra bit of extension in your hip. Feel it every time. Don't think about anything else than feeling this squeeze. Because if you do, you will feel 30 seconds and not, not enough. But if you keep it focused, 30 seconds is a great thing. Down on our hands. Ready to lift up just a little bit. Squeezing down. Engaging your core muscle. So just keep those knees slightly off the exercise mat. Feel the squeeze. Pushing it off. So keep those knees down so you are engaging your core muscle. And up we go. Opposite left leg, left leg in the back. And we are going down, squeezing, squeezing. Keep that chin in, up, squeezing, and pushing it off, down, up again, and get that connection in place. Don't lose the feeling. Squeezing up, down, and we are getting ready for that jump squat, hands behind neck, arms out to the side, and let's go, moving up, fast and furious, up and down, get that buttocks down, not your head down, but your buttocks. Feel the squeeze and the burn in your legs. Only 30 seconds all together. Five more seconds. Squeezing, feeling the connection. Great. We are ready for a third out of four rounds. Hands crossed, chest, and we're going down. Squeezing, squeezing. A good advice is also that you can put your hand on your glute area to feel it even more. Just to get focused, pushing it back down, up again, pushing. Let's go feel the burn. And it's all about contraction. Yes, down on her hands and Feet because we're lifting up those knees and squeezing up. Pushing that foot towards the ceiling. Engage your core muscle. Lift yourself up and away from your shoulders. And of course you could go down on your knees and continue. Squeezing. Keep it squeezing. Yes. And we have our left leg in the back. And we're ready. So pushing, squeezing down. Do all the work in that glute area. Pushing it back. Keep going. Feel. 
it in your glute. Squeezing, don't let go. Pushing it back. Yes. And time is flying by. We're ready for the jump squat. Hands behind head. Lift that chest up. And make sure you go down into that 90 degree in your hips. Up, down. Jumping higher, faster. Good quality. Go all the way down. Just a little bit further because it's only 30 seconds. Yes. Our fourth and final round. Right leg in the back. Hands crossed over. Let's go. Squeezing. Pushing, bending straight that back knee. But do focus on your glute. Knee behind toe on your front leg. Pushing, squeezing. Almost there. Yep. Down on the four hands and toes. Lifting up. Slightly. And if it's too much to be standing with your knees lifted to feel the connection in your glute, go down here and continue. But please look after for your lower back. That's important, even though on your toes with knees lifted or on the exercise mat with your knees. Squeeze. Squeeze. Lift leg at the back, get it even, and we're ready. Squeezing slowly down and grab that contraction again. Loosening, loosening up and back in. Slightly forward in your upper body, but in a straight position. Keep focused. Yes, and we're ready for the jump squat so you can actually get a lot of squeeze with no equipment at all. Just getting the nice and tight position here. seconds four three two and one great have a water break get that water so we have reached now for the third and final block four new exercises and we are getting into that core and ab area. The first exercise, we are gonna lie down on our right side. We're gonna be straight legs here, so sort of like a side-lying uh, side plank. So we are going to squeeze in that core area and keep that chin in, reaching up and slowly down again. So up we go and down, feeling that contraction between our hip and our rib cage. So moving up, Feel it, so stay put just a little bit and down again. And of course, I will show you the next exercise. So let's go for the first one here, counting down, lying down on our right side, and we are lifting up, we go and down again. So reaching down for those feet, moving up, and make sure that your stomach is not popping out and that you are keeping your chin in, lifting with your oblique muscle and not with your head. Reaching down again, squeezing and 
feel it stay put until you feel it up here down that leg squeezing and down lying down here and we're gonna do a almost sit up so reaching for the toes and back again try to keep your feet off the ground so up we go almost getting there but then back again lifting with your ab area look down and make sure it's not popping out that you get the contraction feel it from your navel out to the side keep that head in and up lifting up shoulders back again keep feet down moving up down and lying on the opposite side arms in front head is down and you're reaching for your feet and squeezing those oblique muscles make sure this is the point where you do it not pushing off with your arm just resting with your arms keeping your legs together and keep that chin in and make that squeeze muscle mind connection before you go down again reaching and we are gonna do a white mountain climber so move those legs and knees out to the side here we go so if this is too much you can do an ordinary mountain climber knees in between arms but we only have 30 seconds here so now is the time to do the bigger distance between your knees keeping your core muscle all engaged let's go elevating your heart rate four three two and back four uh, second round and arms side front and we are lifting up down <sighs> squeezing reaching <sighs> keep that chin in up feel the burn and before you moving back down again squeeze on our back ready for the homo sit up feet are up and feet together and down so up but down again make sure every time that you lift up with your shoulder blades is because you're doing the contraction in your ab area and do remember your pelvic floor so engage your pelvic floor before you move on up and pushing everything down up we go and turning around to the opposite side straight legs and hand above your legs feel it back down again reaching make sure your buttocks is not Moving all the way towards the back. Try to keep the straight alignment here. Reaching slowly down. And we are going for the mountain climber with good, great distance between your feet. So, Pushing and pulling your knees out on the side of your arms instead of in between, if possible. Put your weight on your arms so it's easier for you to move your legs and feet. in front squeezing that ab area up we go 
feet close, packed together. Slowly down. Up we go. Reaching. Yes. Lying on our back. Tuck that chin in. Easing off your shoulders. Straight legs. Up. Contraction in your app muscle. Reaching up. Slowly down. And do engage your pelvic floor. Up we go, slowly down. Reaching, yes. And alternative side. And we are reaching slowly down. And the reason why we're lifting off is because we're squeezing oblique muscle, which is lifting up and down. Pushing it and into that mountain climber and Remind yourself there's only one out of four exercise regarding the heart rate. Not that you don't get your heart rate up doing strength exercise, but this is just a little bit more of getting short of breath. So let's go. Only one final round to go and you've done it. Connecting. Elevate that pulse. Yes. Fourth and final time here. Hopefully you can feel it in your oblique muscle by now or else you have a final chance to get that squeeze. Up we go, down again. Squeeze down. Tuck in that ab area. Reaching down. Yep. Lying on our back, engaging your core muscle, and up we go down again. Reaching slowly down. Do remember your pelvic floor lifting and you can always bend your knees a little bit. Five seconds. Yep. Opposite side. So close. And here we go. Like you never squeezed before. Pushing it is our fourth and final round here. Get those knees and feet up. Yep. Final exercise up on your arms. Doing the white mountain climber and here we are let's go for a final exercise final block final round inhale and exhale keep it going i know you can do this 
keep it going because there's only nine seconds left. Yes, beautiful. Get water and you might want to do some stretching afterwards to just to complete this session for today. So working approximately 30 minutes, getting that mind into that muscle connection, feeling the squeeze. Don't worry about any equipment. You can do this anywhere. And uh, just thank you for joining me. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't done it already. Thank you. And uh, maybe you want to give it a like. Hopefully I will see you in some of my other session here. And until then, stay happy and stay healthy and stay strong. Take good care. Bye.